What is up you guys? It's Susan Wright here with Clever News. And in a new interview, Joey King revealed that she decided she couldn't date another actor after her breakup with her Kissing Booth co-star Jacob Elordi. Alright, so we all remember when Joey King and Jacob Elordi met on the set of the first Kissing Booth movie and took Elle and Noah's love off screen. The two dated for around a year, but split up in late 2018, before having to film the two Kissing Booth sequel movies. And in a new interview with The Howard Stern Show, Joey got super real about her dating life and breakup with Jacob. Barbara, I think it's a good thing that you and I Jacob mean, broke up. For, me too. I think, it's a, I think it's a great thing. I think that... Yeah. I also think it's a good thing that we, we dated in the first place. I think that, you know, Is I learned from that. And from Joey's answer, it doesn't seem like she and Jacob have any bad blood, but their relationship did change the way she feels about dating fellow actors going forward. When Howard asked Joey if she would ever date another actor again, here's how she responded. No, I, I, I couldn't. I, I... Joey went on to explain that she didn't mean that in a way to dig at actors because actors are her favorite people in the world. It's more about the struggles of dating someone who does the exact same thing that you do. I think that it's awesome to date somebody who's in your field, who gets it, but doing the same exact thing as somebody is tough. It's really tough. Howard responded by saying, because it's competitive. And Joey said that she hasn't necessarily gotten competitive with fellow actors she's dated, but the fact that they had the exact same job still caused a rift. You're not thinking I'm competing with this person ever. What you're thinking is, I hope that this this success that either of us is having, and you're thinking mostly about yourself in the way where you're like, I hope that this opportunity that I'm getting is not hurting their feelings. Joey went on to say, with situations like that, which often came up in her relationships, you're quote, creating a problem that's not even there by just thinking that. And then Howard took a somewhat dig at Jacob, even though he made it clear it was no offense to him, saying that maybe he was somewhat jealous of all the success Joey has had, especially over the past few years. Joey defended Jacob, but Howard definitely didn't hold back. No offense to Jacob in this situation, but you are the star. No, he's of doing Kissing great, Booth. and he is he's doing, doing he's, fine. I mean, he's got his show, and he's doing wonderfully. Yeah, but there's he's no great way on that show. There's no way for him sitting in a relationship with you during the <laughs> the, the accolades you're getting for the act for the success of the Kissing Booth, and sitting there and going, "Oh, f she's doing so well." Joey concluded saying that she wishes people wouldn't compare them in that way all the time because they dated for a minute and now they're completely separate people with completely separate careers. And in that same interview, she also touched on how it wasn't easy to play Elle and Noah in Kissing Booth 2 and 3 after they broke up, after Howard asked, it must have been as awkward as hell when you make Kissing Booth 2 and 3 and he's in it. Joey responded saying, quote, it's one of the coolest parts of my job to have to do something that isn't easy. I would say, regardless of the experience, Elle Evans always needs her Noah Flynn is how I like to put it. Joey also echoed a similar sentiment when speaking to Cosmopolitan magazine when she spoke about working with her ex every day, saying, quote, There's so much I want to say. What's the most uh, correct way to go about this? Elle Evans needs her Noah Flynn, and whatever that means for my personal life, I'll do anything to make sure the story of my character who I care about so much is complete. So while she and Jacob made it work for the Kissing Booth franchise, from that Howard Stern interview, it doesn't seem like Joey will be dating any of her co-stars anytime soon. But what does that mean for Joey and her Kissing Booth 2 co-star Taylor Zakar Perez? Many fans have been shipping these two ever since they started posting about each other on social media and going on trips together. During a recent podcast interview with Barstool's Chicks in the Office, Taylor even said that while he isn't dating Joey at the moment, he definitely would. He said, quote, We were quarantine buddies, so I would see Joey all the time because we lived five minutes away from each other. We know what our relationship is. We love each other dearly. It's been interesting how everyone has been trying to make something out of it, but it's fine. I mean, hey, I would love to be dating Joey King. She's dope. And Taylor isn't the only person fans have been shipping Joey with. In the Cosmo interview, she did allude to being in a relationship, and while she didn't say with who, some fans think it could be one of the executive producers of her series The Act, Stephen Payette, who she was rumored to be dating last year. Earlier this year, Joey even referred to Stephen as her sweet boyfriend in a piece for InStyle. And like Joey said in the Howard Stern interview, it's awesome to date somebody who is in your field who gets it, but doing the exact same thing as somebody is tough. So who knows? Maybe she is currently dating Steven because he is in her field and they don't have the exact same job. 
We'll keep you guys posted if Joey spills any more tea on her dating life. But for now, if you want to know what it was like for Joey and Jacob to work together after their breakup, you can click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know all of your thoughts on what Joey had to say about dating another actor right here in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.